our minds are pattern matchers that make very quick judgments, within a second usually, and then we recruit our reasoning afterwards to justify what we've just done. So the metaphor I used in my previous book, The Happiness Hypothesis, was that the mind is divided into parts, like a rider on an elephant. The rider is our conscious reasoning. It's pretty small and impotent, but it acts like it's in charge. Uh, and the elephant is the other 99% of the mind, which really runs most of our behavior. Most of us spend a lot of our time trying to persuade other people's riders. We give them all these reasons. Here are the seven reasons why you're wrong or why you should see it my way. When in fact, the way to persuade people is to speak to the elephant first. Uh, the elephant is a lot stronger than the rider. If you get somebody feeling the truth of what you're saying or feeling that they like you or like what you're saying and the elephant kind of wants to go in your direction, then it's effortless to persuade the rider to go along. But if the elephant is digging in its heels, the elephant doesn't want to go, doesn't, doesn't want to be dragged along by you to the conclusion that you're trying to get them to, uh, then there's really nothing you can say that will persuade the rider.